Okay, this is... This is... The... Worst game I have played this entire season. Let's see if I can find it. Maybe it's this one. It's versus Bro. And it's Granary. And it's very sad. Is this it? I hope this is it. Oh, and everything, if there's one demo I can watch to see how, how it can go opposite and how I can do really poorly, this is it, so let's see what happens. Oh, I get stuck in the door. I got stuck. You got stuck too. Let's see if this is bro. This was a wild guess on which demo it was, so. Yeah, it is bro. Okay. And that demo, that, that freaking, mmm. What a pipe, you know? Like, that was nowhere intended for me, and I jump up and it hits the top of my head, knocks me down in a crater. And it just goes downhill from here. This is, this is without a doubt, one of the worst games I've played in a long while. beginning of the end yeah so I'm giving you guys fair warning it's not like any other game this season where I've been actually pretty good this is just downright bad this is proving that even if you're on a top two team you can still suck uh, I don't know Cockroach gave me the command oh post it later. Okay, so, you know, I'm the pistol in there. We've already Ubered in. That's already happened. And, and, uh, okay. Dave can't even get through this door to get to last. Look at this ESCA server. Okay, so that one pushing on the Uber where I just died of clockwork. I feel like damages should have been called more and I should have gone for something weaker than a full health demo. Even though I did get two good shots on him, I just I couldn't finish him off with that many people there and that much health. Well, I mean, it was after an Uber I had to go in. I can't just leave it for them to all die. I shouldn't have, like, that was a terrible push all around. Scouts above our head. It's probably like my first kill of the game, by the way. Why did I go back in? I thought for some reason Shade was gonna stay there, but he, like, he had no reason to do that. Whoa, why did my volume get really high? What the hell just happened? My volume just ran out. Oh, I must have changed it while I was playing. Because I probably felt like I couldn't hear. Okay, so we're going in. We saved the Uber on that. We don't see them. Push into them. I need another jump from somebody. On, no, not rockets from afar, a jump. Mmm. I can still go in if you jump. What happened to that door? Why did that door open? Oh. Does anybody know why that door just opened? Okay, so the med lift, they're gonna have Uber revenge. I'm playing a little safe. We can go back in now.
feel like the last couple games we were playing where I take the oh my god we take the Ubers and then this one we decide Ty's gonna take them all just because like it's so tight corner I can push right into them and then you can follow the rockets it's like a safe push and we do nothing again with another Uber that's the second Uber in a row we've done absolutely nothing Okay, I can't see anything there. I should have just wrapped. What the hell am I doing? I should have just pushed him right there. And not just fuck that up completely. I could have just pushed right on in. Alright, everybody's wiping even though we've all just ran away. Like Dave and Flame. We're dying at two when our combo is moved all the way back to mid our garage. This might just be one of our sloppiest games I've ever seen. Luckily, ever since Hero joined, we haven't played the sloppy. Like I can, I can just tell by the way we're pushing them. Like, we're all playing this terribly. We have Boomer down. He's not there yet. Go. Go, go, go. Push him. He has no stickies. We're waiting there. Oh. What is our combo doing? Do the wrap around. Soldier cuts off, cuts us off. We can't go in. Shea gets out through Z. One for one. Demo's hurt. I'm gonna go on the demo. Demo goes down. Okay, that's. I'm fine with that. But where is everybody else? Where is Ty? Uh, are we down our soldiers? No, Ty just got an assist there. Ugh. This is just everybody going around like retards. Victory. And it just goes downhill even more from here, even though we're up 2-0, this we lose this game. And I can already see why. It's like these pushes are not working at all. Okay, dummy down right away. Danny wins a demo fight right off the bat, which is crazy hard. Why is he 50 down? Okay, keep pushing. Keep pushing. I should see somebody right here right now. There we go. There should be no reason we lose this. I don't know if we do or don't. Push right into him. Push right into him. See, we have such a number advantage, pushing right into him means I can get behind him, not Ubering after the fact. Now I can't do anything with this, and we lose our number advantage. God damn it! And Clock should be dead, but he has so much fucking health for some reason. Okay, Uber to save Ty there? Let him fucking die! Ty must have been yelling at Shade for more heals 
for this game because I can tell right now he's popping to save him rather than popping to do use it offensively and this is beginning to really piss me off this game. This is a failed push because of it. Ty's just standing there, he's nowhere near anybody, he can see that, yet he calls for the men and calls for the Uber. God damn, this is a frustrating game. See if I can catch one of them trying to chase. Nope. Thanks, Doc. LG had a rough season for winners. Ducks had a rough season for ducks. There's a bit of a difference. Watched you lose to down to pound. Puff. I saw it happen. Down to pound is just incredible. I am winners. Season 12. Wait, is it season 12? Yeah, it's season 12. If it was an odd number, we'd win this land. Getting back capped. We've got it, we've got it. I guess we're actually concerned about the guy behind. Um, I guess I'm concerned enough to go all the way back to see where he is. I'm wasting so much time looking for him too. I'm so afraid he's gonna spawn camp somewhere. Let him, he's out of the fight, just go. He's so good at wasting so much of our time. Frustrating to watch. I feel like I don't trust Flame to take him on. Alert. The control point is being contested. Kid. Doc, come on, man. He's a little lost. They're looking at me. They've used four rockets. Jump! If there's anybody there, if I turn around and there's a soldier there, I'm going to be really upset. I don't expect Banny to jump because he's a demo man and he needs to stay near a man. I mean, he could do the platinum play where he does, but he's a lot more effective alive. Yep, we had a soldier there. Okay. Our soldiers just got picked off by their soldiers, and we lost mid. Just straight up lost it. I'm starting to feel less and less bad about my play and more and more annoyed with the way we're just playing this match. And it's nobody's fault in particular, it's just all around stupidity. Maybe maybe it's partly due to having like a scout that isn't sure what he's doing either. Or it could just be we just don't know anymore. Because I've seen us lose DM battles tons of times, but I've never seen us just outright be playing this dumb. It might have been just right after Mix-Up 5-0'd us or something, and we just had no idea how to play TF2 after that point, when they 5-0'd us twice.
Puff, I'm not gonna lie. Those theory crafting sessions you had with like Sean Bud and your team, and it was on stream, I had no idea what you were talking about nearly the entire time. I have no idea what you like what plays you were telling them to do or what and why you were telling them to do it. It just made no sense to me. I'm not trying to be mean, it's just that's what I thought. Like I had no idea. No, but you were like you guys were like in mumble after talking about what you should do differently and I had no idea what was going through your head when you were talking about that. No, it was things like we should be doing X because of Y, and X and Y never made sense to me. I didn't understand why you were saying those things, to be honest. I wish I had an example of it. You know, like one day maybe I'll look back at Chomba's stream, but there's a lot of times where I just don't really know what's going through your head, Puff. Oh, look at Flame going big there. Shame we need a fragging class. It's great you sniped a med after you, Bird, buddy. It was time for that team. Playing with new people will give you a new perspective on the game, probably. If you add up all your wins for all your seasons, you still don't. Oh, you know, you do have a winning. 11 and 11 wins would be a winning season. 11 wins in 4 seasons, that's fucking rough, man. Uh, I'm just jumping around shooting shit. And we've lost them in already. Okay, so from what I'm noticing, I could be playing a bit more aggressively. Especially around corners, but I feel like our numbers have always been down. We've always been playing on the back foot. I'll be honest, down to pound, control muffin, DW, they've been like, playing really well. Maybe that's what Ducks needed. I think that team could actually do well in invite. I'm not even lying about that. Oh, that scout should be dead. He's 51, but flame aims for the healthy are people. Control Muffin, like, during the season I didn't think much of him, but during the playoffs he's been going absolutely bonkers. played demo there wouldn't be a single match of bandies or platinums that I didn't watch those two are in the class of their own and you gotta like pick up as much and figure out why they're doing what they're doing that would be my advice to any upcoming demo man is just watch all their sorts TVs and try and figure out why they do what they do because they usually make 95% of the time they make the right play and they're like two of the top players in the game at any class
Um, I think Plat would have equal, if you're talking about Plat on demo, he'd have equal success. Um, because truth be told, mix-up scouts aren't that aggressive. They usually play off damage really well. They play off distractions. They don't just lead in and rush in and whatnot. They'll fight you when you don't see them. And that's a pretty easy style to play if your heavy classes are that good, you know? If your heavy classes are TLR, Plat, and Hard Blue, that's a pretty easy class easy way to play. That's what makes them a 16-0 team. Is the fact that up and down their roster they're good, but their scouts can can just use whatever openings they have and that's all they need to do and they'll win and they'll get kills and get great damage. And yeah, any and I think you can put platinum on any team as demo man and that team would instantly improve. Platinum like does these jumps in where he plays more aggressively at times than other demo men. He'll jump in and do shit like that. Whereas Banny will only jump in if it's like the smart play, whereas Platt will jump in with the soldiers just for jumps. It's crazy. Sticky's the hardest thing in the game to destroy. Look at that. He's just staring at that trap, too. This is just a lot of waiting around and me dying. I'm not particularly missing shots, but I'm not making any plays, but I think it has a little to do with me not ex knowing where- Hmm, freak that guy. But me not knowing where my team is. And there's no point in being aggressive, there's not going to be any follow-up to it. I mean, I can I can get one or two kills maybe, but if they're not going to- If they're just going to respawn before we push, it's not really worth it. Like, Boomer just died there. The rest of my team should be pushing up now. We got the pick. We should be able to force their Uber if they have Uber or at least be going in. But no, we're just standing here. And now we just we're on our back foot again. It's crazy. We're down one. We have Uber. And this is how we use it. Like Oh, that pop should have been there before. Oh, this is bad. Bunch of 20 17 shots, but that's like that's where I'm getting annoyed with this because what was with that hesitation there? That hesitation made it so that the only thing I could kill was that scout, and me killing that scout wouldn't have won us that mid. You need to use the Uber into them, into their face, and actually kill them with it, not hesitate. The more you hesitate, the further away they get, the less kills you're gonna get. And that's what makes up does so well is that they won't hesitate, they'll push, 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 push. Nobody stops, especially when you have the Uber, because you gotta have faith in your men being able to protect you and save you there. And even if you go down, at least you're in their face. Now he's gonna take the Uber into them, though. He let... Why? Oh my god. <laughs> he let him cap and he's still in. How is that even possible? Uh, 
<sighs> I'm not letting this happen on land. I'm just not. This is not what's gonna happen at land. I was so freaking depressed after this game, and it was mostly because I just didn't have great stats or whatever, but I'm less concerned about that and just more concerned with their pushes. They're just god fucking awful. I know, I know Flame had like 2,000 damage, but that's not an excuse to win, not win this. I mean, we knew going into this, Flame hasn't played TF2 in like three years or something stupid like that, or two years or something. But A, I need to play more aggressively, and B, we need to commit to our pushes and not let shit like that happen. Not even on the point there. We just let him jump on us. Flame Idiot was pretty long ago. Flame Idiot was before Clock joined us, obviously, right? So that's at least four seasons. Time has been added. Yeah, Platt could, but you couldn't, Brad. Push into him, they boobered. Nice time. He's jumping out left. Let's see if I chase him. I should chase him. There you go. Joe, I don't know if you're asking me that or Brad. Okay, come on, push, push, push. Don't worry about. Come on, let's go. Ah, uh -uh, they're set up. Mr. Husky, you saying what really happened, like there's a huge conspiracy? There wasn't a huge conspiracy, he just left and joined bro. That's pretty much it. He wanted to play with new people, he played with new people. Okay, so we tie it up there. I feel like our mids are just awful for just because we don't really have any structure to them and nobody's really playing aggressive. I see the scout in the corner of my eye, lower right, so I'm keeping an eye on him. But he managed to get flame already, and that soldier's on that box uncalled. God, and we're just wiping. Just playing out getting DM. Because this team is going to beat us on DM, especially without Chad. 
So, I mean, we need our teamwork back. That's pretty much it. I should have gone on that high pipe there. Uh, this is lost cause anyway. Can only dodge that scout for so long. Banny's only played demo and invite, but he could play any class. Probably the best at any class if you wanted to. Too. That's the crazy thing about it. When you have to have a rule in Pugs called the Banny rule, and you switch to Pug any picking style, pretty much says something that you're kind of fucked. That third shot just... Mmm, that third shot, man. They're both raped. Nine health. And he goes for the mat. <laughs> I yelled, 9 health, 9 health, and he turns around and shoots for the med. Time has been added. Same reason I don't play with 5 clones, because we haven't perfected that. But that's the thing, Dummy wouldn't have had a chance to get that pipe off if you killed the 9 health demo. Okay, so we're letting them get up top. We know they're gonna go up top. Up top is everybody's favorite. Everybody's favorite. Okay, okay. See rock come down. Oh, I'm completely wrong. We should be able to. We should be able to attack this. Uh, the demo gets in. There's not enough people up. Where is Flame and Dave? That is so odd. They're pushing our last with Uber. We saved the Uber because she's incredible. Okay, you see the flash there? I saw the little beam there. You see a fully buffed scout there, so you know where they are. The heavy's behind us. But he shouldn't be able to back cap us. He'll just drop on us, if anything. This is taking way too much time. This is bad. They managed to get Uber again before we pop it once. And I can't kill a Sticky. My weakness. Stickies. I think Tyrone's gonna do better online. Ty, at the end of the season, was pretty damn good. Mets down. Demo's raped. Demo's raped. Kill the demo. gets back to the health pack. Yeah, Ty's, Ty's been playing fine. This is just... This match just happened to be bad for everybody, I guess. But this is just wasted opportunity after wasted opportunity. Wow, okay. That was the end of that, I guess. Okay, so, uh, let's see what time it is. 3.41, I've got... 30 more minutes or so before we got it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the stream so I can end this VOD.